So now I have finished separating the back of the shirt from the front of the shirt. I ended up ditching the stitch ripper because um, this happened to be a made in USA union made shirt and it was very well put together. So I ended up just taking the scissors and cutting right up along the, the seams and that also prevented all this extra threading from falling out too. So either way that you do it is fine. Um, cutting right up the seams took a little bit less time after all. So what I've done is I've taken the back of the shirt and I folded it in half. Now look, keep the front of the shirt because you're going to need it for the belt and um, other things. There's also other good things on it. You know, you can keep the buttons if you want and who knows what you might need it for. So I folded the shirt, the back of the shirt in half and I have the inside on the inside and just so you know I'm lengthwise the, sh the shirt is stretching this way so this is actually the bottom of the shirt and I'm going to take the pattern that I've cut out and I'm going to turn it so the flat side I'm going to line it up with the fold. Now the other cool thing if you want to is to line the bottom, The this will be the flap that goes on the chest. So if you want to put that right up to the end of the shirt then you actually have the seam, the seam on the end of the shirt and that will make it more durable. So line up the pattern with the fold of the shirt and pin. I'm just going to pin the pattern here. And again, this is what I like about this paper. It's a little bit, it's a lot more durable than the tissue paper, but still pretty easy to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and pin, finish pinning the pattern to the shirt. So of course the next step is to cut the pattern with your very sharp scissors. This might be the easiest part of making the compression chart. edges here. So now I have a zipper here and I have the shirt cut and unpinned and I have the pattern taken off and what I want to do now is just test it for size so I'm gonna put it over my little guy here and what's gonna happen is there's going to be the velcro is gonna go here and it's got to be able to cross over so that's good okay so that should be a good fit now you look like Superman zipper and I want. I just want to make sure. I think it's okay that it's a bit long on him, um, but if if the you know the pattern is too big for your dog, you can you know just. And I actually might do that, and try him again. So I have a zipper back on the table, and I folded the piece of fabric back in half, and I trimmed it at the end over here to make it a little bit shorter and we're going to see how that fits in. Yeah. Stand up zip. I think that's perfect. Now the next step is going to be to make the belt. Here's the belt for 
the winter coat and normally it would go around this way but I think for a zipper's case I'm gonna custom make his belt I'm gonna make it to be wider to go from like under his leg to under his leg and I'm also going to make it so it wraps all the way around and comes up up here and so it's adjustable and it can be made so that it's holding tighter or holding looser depending on his level of anxiety. So that's the next step. Thank you zipper. So here we are again um, and I'm going to be making the belt for the compression shirt and what I've decided to do is use my rotary cutter for quilting. It has an old blade on it so I don't care if it gets dull. Probably a big mistake but we'll find out. I measured zipper um, between his legs like under his legs and he is seven inches long. So the way I have the shirt here is uh, this is the front of the shirt. See, here's the collar and I folded it in half so it stretches this way and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut on well this would be the um, the left side of the shirt if it were facing you because the other side has a pocket and a big logo this side has a logo too but it's not as big so you know it's gonna how you do this is gonna depend on what you have available for your materials and stuff like that of course if you're not using a shirt already made and you went out and bought fabric you don't actually have to worry about this so I am going to cut down here it may take a little I'm just gonna make a straight edge here and I am gonna cut it the full seven inches because I figure that um, with a seam allowance and that type of thing it'll be a good fit for him so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right here. Okay. And I'm going to try to cut it as straight as I can. Let's see how that came out. Here you go. And we'll use this end of it here to make the belt. Let's see how it works. So I have the main part of the compression shirt back here on the table. And here's the belt part. And again, I kept the the seam from the shirt, the bottom of the shirt, um, because that's another seam I won't have to uh, sew. And also there's the seams here that go around the front of the dog's chest that I'm not going to have to sew. So that's going to save me some work. So the idea is that the belt is probably going to start right about here and we'll be able to wrap all the way around the dog so this part right here will actually come off so we won't have any insignia I'll probably just cut it right where the sleeve the underarm of the sleeve is and uh, well let's see if that's gonna fit him and here we have zipper again I think he's starting to understand that this little project I'm doing is for him and I'm going to put the shirt back over his shoulders here and I'm going to want it to fit like this and the belt is going to start right about here and zipper is going to stand up for me and I may not even have to make it that long and the idea is that it's going to wrap around him kind of like a, an ace bandage and we'll be able to affix it right up here in that it'll be able to you'll be able to make it tighter 
if need to if you need to and so there's the belt and generally what the shirt's going to look like I think we'll be able to make the shirt we just don't know if it's going to work to help him with his anxiety yet so um, I'm going to cut off that insignia piece and we're going to start to sew